In Indiana, there was a incident on the road, a road rage incident. Young man jumps out of the car and a uh, 19-year-old guy runs up and punches a, an all window on a car and ends up getting shot. Um, and uh, it, it's raised the debate as to who's in the right and who's in the wrong. So let's watch the video and we'll, uh, we'll talk about it. Witnesses tell us that's when the driver of the car gets out and starts beating the other driver. After that, gunshots. Police say the driver of that van fired several rounds hitting the other man in the arm. Another car was hit by bullets while just driving by. Thankfully, everyone is okay. Both of the drivers, though, now face separate criminal charges for their alleged roles in that road rage incident. So the case is a furious debate has erupted after a court threw out charges against a Indiana driver who repeatedly shot one motorist and injured another in a near deadly road rage incident in the middle of Fort Wayne. Um, so apparently the kid survived, which is great. Uh, good to know. Um, but uh, the charges have been dropped uh, against the shooter, which has again enraged a debate as to who was in the right. And I mean, you got to wonder because yeah, he did just kind of open fire. There was no visible weapon. There was no visible gun. Um, he just punched him and he shot him. I don't really know who's in the right and who's in the wrong. I mean, in this situation is a tough one because I mean, his life wasn't in, there's no way that his life was threatened to open fire in the middle of a road. I get it. If you're, you know, you're a weakling, you've got to protect yourself. I get it. But opening fire on somebody, um, again, I mean, again, it's tough because somebody jumps out of the fucking car, out of their car in the middle of the street. You know, you just never know what's going to happen. So uh, it's a tough one. Real also, they were, I mean, they both swerved into each other. They're, I'm sure they're both heated. And, well, they're, they're, they are heated. Human error, you know. They you are know. heated. There's no question. But uh, I don't know. I mean, he could have fucking killed him. Not only could he have killed yeah. him, but he killed could have killed the passenger behind him. The bullet went through the window of that truck that that kid fell into uh, on the road. Uh, very scary looking incident nonetheless. But uh, uh, it does... You know, it does sort of enrage the debate as to where do you draw the line as to deadly force. Um, I don't necessarily know if, if he should be completely exempt of charges because it sets a, a poor precedent, I think. Um, I don't really know. It's a tough one. Again, I you know, if anybody wants to comment, please, please, please uh, throw your comments in the bottom and, and offer your, your two cents because, again, I, I do advocate for gun rights and, and legal carry. And, and I think that, you know, if you allow your, your citizens to protect themselves with, you know, arms, it, it, it lowers the crime rate. It's been proven. I mean, it works. So I don't know. It's a tough, it, I don't know if the guys, I mean, according to the case, they considered the kid to be the final aggressor and that's why he still has charges. Yeah. He's still yeah. pending charges. Um, again, he absolutely should be charged. I mean, he, 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 should not have jumped out of his vehicle. Um, anyway, definitely makes you question where to draw the line with deadly force. Um, please, again, like I said, please offer your comments if uh, you can offer some insight because I don't really know what uh, who's in the right and who's in the wrong. That's a really, really tough, tough one to make a call on. Um, anyway, that would be about all I got for today.